day 135 becoming Christopher Cruz. So, um, I have my League of Lions call tonight, my second one. I told everyone in the group that um, it's going to be talking about the two most important things to being your lion, which are courage and faith. And um, so I had to make a presentation on that. And I made the entire presentation in like 15 or 20 minutes. And I was done. I was like, boom, this is so easy. And that's one of the cool things about doing like teaching all of this stuff, like I can teach it so freaking well because I've been living it for so long. Like I've been living like a lion for years now. And so I know this shit like the back of my hand. Plus it's my own philosophy. It's like my own belief system. So no one knows it better than me. No one can teach it better than me because it's me expressed in the form of a belief system or philosophy. So um, it's just like, it was really cool. I was like, damn, this is a badass, really good presentation. And the great thing is I don't have to practice it. I don't have to take write down notes or um, have cue cards or bullet points or any of that bullshit. Like, I just know this shit. Like, it comes from my heart and my soul. And, you know, I have another workshop that I need to do tomorrow that I have to build because there's going to be at least 25 people in the workshop, which is freaking awesome. Awesome. There's only been one person that I've talked to. I've talked to 23 people, I think, or 24 people, and only one person is not going. So that's pretty damn good. That says a lot about the first workshop. Um, and so it's like I have that workshop tomorrow, and I'll make a presentation, and I won't have to practice it. I won't have to, like, overthink it, and I'll just go, and that's like... There's certain things in life where you just got a fuck ton of confidence, like complete and total belief in yourself. And when it comes to coaching and speaking and teaching this philosophy and this, this way of living, I just have total confidence. Like you could stand me up in front of them without a single slide or anything like that and I'll just fucking kill it. Because I know it like, and I'm confident in it. And it's like, this is just, this is my shit. So. Um, that's a really, really good feeling. And so it's just exciting. Like, we're going to have the whole courtyard set up. There's going to be the lights, you know, that are hanging. And I bought a projector and a screen to hang up that'll be here tomorrow. Thank God for Amazon next day delivery. By the way, look how pretty that is. Damn. Um, and yeah, people are excited and pumped up. And so it's just cool how I can just make these presentations that I've never made before. And I have so many, there's so many concepts to this because it's a lifestyle, it's a way of living. So I just, there's like unlimited things that I can teach. And, you know, I look back to when I was first doing my workshops, when I started my first, when I first started my coaching business in Bali. And I did some workshops where it was just like, oh, that kind of sucked. For me, I thought it sucked. Um, and the reason why is because I, I tried to get too clever. I tried to get too complicated. I tried to have too many slides. And that fucked me up because when I have too many slides, when I have that stuff, I can't speak from my heart. And when I speak from my heart, that's when I'm like crazy powerful. When I speak from my head, that's when I get stuck and off track and, I, and my message doesn't land as much. So I learned from that experience, which was a tough experience, to just fucking keep it simple. Don't try to get fancy. Don't try to get clever. Don't like the more simple you can keep it, the easier it's going to land with people and the longer it's going to resonate with them and last in their minds. And so um, I'm really taking that on with these presentations, like because I'll come up with the presentation structure or idea and I'm like, OK, how do I cut it in half? <laughs> because half these slides I don't freaking need. It's too much. Um, and I've seen it when I do presentations where it's got too much information packed into it people by the end of it get burnt out so they're just like mentally exhausted which is not how i want people to leave so every all these workshops that i'm doing um i'm gonna make it really simple and as it as it goes i'll add more and more stuff and more and more complex concepts and all that kind of stuff but um yeah keep it simple keep it simple and sexy that's what you got to do. And so tomorrow I'm going to be teaching everyone. Did I just say tomorrow? 
tomorrow I'm going to be teaching everyone uh, how to distinguish whether your lion is making the choice or your sheep is making the choice. And there's several ways to know that and so I'm going to give people all the different ways. And then I'm going to teach them one of my favorite things which is rule of thirds. I love the rule of thirds. Which very simply put means that a third of people love you for who you are, a third of people hate you for who you are, and a third of people don't care who you are. And the problem is that most of us are obsessed with getting everyone to become lovers, when in reality, two thirds of people either hate us or don't care about us. And so I'm gonna teach that tomorrow, which is such a good concept. And then I'm gonna listen to what they need, and I'm gonna listen to what they're looking for, and then I'll just create a workshop. The great thing, is I can create this shit so quick and it can look so good and so professional and so badass because I'm a pretty good designer. I'm not tooting my own horn, but I am. I'm a pretty fucking good designer. And I already have like my templates set up with the branding and the fonts and the colors and the backgrounds. So it's just gonna look streamlined as fuck. So I'm excited. Now I'm gonna go pick up my business cards, my lion business cards. Hell yes.